Hardy project team, all right, and basically, and um, well, I'm actually in charge of the media side from the RDN. So what are we looking at right now? All right, first off, okay, first off, I'm actually going to show you guys what is what is the current situation before we actually enable any co unlocking or any quick overclocking screens into this system. All right, this CPU comes with the standard two two core technology with the total core speed of about three three point two gig. All right, in this sort of performance and with the incorp with the incorporated GPU or the performance. All right, a performance of between five hundred to six. 500 to 600 megahertz per second. All right, megahertz. This is what no. This is what you will normally get from a normal but from a normal motherboard. However, all right, in a, in a Asus board, all right, once you actually have the Asus board without installing any software, okay, without in, installing any software, Asus Asus's GPU boost is already making. All right, it's already making your GPU to run between 500 to 700 instead of 500. 600. GPU boost driver, once you actually install it, you can actually control your GPU frequency, alright, inside the auto variable. Okay, you can actually change it to any frequency you want. Alright, what we actually recommend it is anything below 1050. Alright, will be a safe figure. Okay, however, please do note, okay, please do note that it's going to make your GPU hotter. All right. Once and the GPU is already inside the nose bridge, so which actually means that if you don't have sufficient cooling, it's going to tank. So unless you actually have any sufficient cooling, we don't actually recommend you go to go anywhere beyond right, one one thousand fifty. Okay. So let's give it a try. All right. Let's give it a try and still in still use our beloved CPU Z to actually show us the GPU frequency. All right. This piece of software is going to show you exactly how the frequency is going to be like. All right. Now it's a dynamic change between because we haven't actually touched the GPU boost. All right. It's going to be between 500 to 700 in our current design. All right. Once you actually change it, okay. Once you actually change it to what we actually said before, okay. Anything below 1,000 and 1,050. Alright, I'll just say 1,010 for now. Okay. See here? Our GPU core frequency is actually going up. Alright, and in this sort of, in this sort of boost, okay, you will actually you will actually receive okay the GPU performance of up to 50% increase from the, from the standard clock of 500. Alright. Once this is done, okay. Once this is done, you already you are actually going to see like you know some performance in some performance gain in like you know game playing or like you know, 3D benchmarks, right? 